So our opponents said that the second, in the second amendment during uh, Heller versus McDonald, um, the second amendment, uh, hand, uh, guns should be allowed. Um, but in Heller versus McDonald, it was only pertaining to handguns and not assault weapons. Also, uh, assault weapons do not help in self-defense because the decrease in total gun murders in the country during the ban was 7%, while after the ban expired, it was 3.6%. Um, having a gun may falsely empower its possessor and also um, bring them to more dangerous environments that they otherwise wouldn't have gone to. Also, um, if they were to have the gun wrested away from them, it could be turned on them and they could be shot. Our uh, availability of gun assault, of assault weapons also increases the likelihood of terrorism. Adam Godin, who, was a, who, who is a terrorist, said that you can basically legally buy an assault weapon in the U.S. and he was encouraging other terrorists to buy weapons. But if we ban assault weapons, then terrorism would, uh, if we were to renew the ban, then there would probably be a decrease in terrorism. Um, the, our opponents also mentioned that the Second Amendment gives people the right to carry guns, but 